Hello everyone and welcome to Law Minds. Today we dwell into a crucial legal topic, alimony and maintenance as an independent remedy. We'll explore how various legal systems address this issue with the focus on Muslim law, the Indian Divorce Act of 1869 and relevant pr provisions under the Criminal Procedure Code of 1973. In this video, we will understand what is alimony and maintenance alimony in muslim law sections related to alimony under indian divorce act 1869 provisions related to maintenance under criminal procedure code of 1973 case studies and the conclusion so first let us understand what is alimony and maintenance alimony is financial support provided by one spouse to another after divorce or separation Maintenance is the ongoing financial support given by one party to another during the marriage or after its dissolution. This financial assistance aims to ensure that both parties maintain a reasonable standard of living, particularly when one spouse has a significant higher income or financial resources. Alimony and maintenance are fundamental concepts in Indian family law. playing a crucial role, role in ensuring financial fairness especially during and after marital relationships alimony often used interchangeably with maintenance refers to the financial support provided by one spouse to another this support can be during the marriage or after a legal separation or divorce alimony in muslim law now let's explore how alimony is addressed under islamic or muslim law In Islamic jurisprudence the concept of alimony is deeply rooted in principles of fairness and equity two key terms you'll often come across are meher and nafqa meher is the amount agreed upon and specified at the time of marriage it is a mandatory payment that the husband undertakes to pay to the wife and it becomes her exclusive property This is a unique feature in Islamic law emphasizing financial protection for the wife from the offset outset of the marriage moving on to nafqa this is the ongoing financial support that the husband is obligated to provide during the marriage and in some cases after its dissolution the amount and duration of nafqa can vary based on factors such as the husband's financial capacity the wife's needs and the standard of living established during the marriage it's essential to note that islamic law places a significant emphasis on the duty of the husband to provide for the financial well-being of the wife this duty extends to the post divorce period ensuring that the financial rights and needs of both parties are adequately addressed indian divorce act 1869 now Let's turn our attention to the legal framework provided by the Indian Divorce Act of 1869. This legislation primarily applies to Christians in India and addresses various aspects of marriage, separation and divorce. Section 36 of the Indian Divorce Act specifically deals with the important aspect of alimony. Under section 36 the court is empowered to award alimony either as a one time settlement or as monthly payments depending on the financial circumstances of the parties involved this section takes into consideration factors such as the income assets and liabilities of both spouses the court objective is to ensure fairness in financial matters recognizing that both parties may have contributed to the marriage in different ways the financial support awarded aims to address disparities in earning capacity and maintaining a reasonable standard of living especially for the economically disadvantaged spouse provisions under criminal procedure code 1973 shifting our focus to a broader legal perspective the criminal procedure code of 1973 provides provisions related to maintenance under section 125 Unlike the Indian Divorce Act section 125 is not specified to any particular religion and serves as a significant tool for obtaining maintenance under section 125 a wife children or even parents can claim maintenance if they are unable to maintain themselves this provision is not limited to divorce cases and can be evoked during the subsistence of the marriage 
it's a powerful legal remedy especially in cases where neglect or refusal to provide financial support is evident the court when educating matters under section 125 considers various factors including the financial capacity of the party obligated to maintain ob obligated to ma pay maintenance and the genuine need of the party seeking maintenance this ensures a fair and just distribution of financial responsibility as we delve into the intricacies of alimony and maintenance it's crucial to examine landmark cases that have significantly influenced the legal landscape in india these cases provide valuable insights into the interpretation and application of alimony and maintenance laws daniel latifi versus union of india is a pivotal in understanding alimony and maintenance under muslim law the supreme court clarified that a muslim husband's obligation to provide ma maintenance to his wife is not confined to the iddat period but extends beyond it this case emphasizes the principle of providing just and fair maintenance to divorced muslim women shifting our focus to the indian divorce act the case of mary roy versus state of kerala is noteworthy In this case the Supreme Court emphasized gender equality in matters of inheritance and maintenance under the Indian Divorce Act. The judgment highlighted the need for a progressive interpretation of statutory provisions to ensure equality between spouses. Under the provisions of the Criminal Procedure Code, the case of Shabana Banu versus Imran Khan is significant. The Supreme Court clarified that a divorced Muslim woman is entitled to seek maintenance under Section 125 of the Criminal Procedure Code, reinforcing the broader application of maintenance laws irrespective of religious affiliation. Coming to the conclusion, as we wrap up, it's clear that alimony and maintenance are vital aspects of family law, ensuring financial fairness and support in various cultural and legal contexts. We have explored the principles under Muslim law, the Indian Divorce Act of 1869, and relevant provisions in the Criminal Procedure Code of 1973. Remember, each case is unique, and, le and legal advice should be sought for personalized guidance. Thank you for joining us. Joining us, stay informed, stay empowered. Thank you.